ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Stonehearth Alpha 20. I hope you're having a wonderful day because the people of New Nerdium certainly seem to be having a content time. All nine of them. We have Piat Wald Piat. Piat Walden. <laughs> good name. Good name. Uh, all right, Piat, are you any good at anything? Um... You're not amazing with your body, but I'm going to have you become a footman, because I might as well. Uh, so you are going to become the second footman of New Nerdingham. And since we're not doing that much with everything else, I think I want to go ahead and... Uh, hold on, why are you mining? You are supposed to be, be becoming a footman. Why are you not becoming... Hold on, mate. Change your job. Right, mate. Go become a footman, please. If you wouldn't mind. There we go. So that's him doing what I want him to do. And I think what we'll also do is get someone with a good mind skill, which is looking like it's going to be Lorna. Definitely. Lorna, you are going to become the Mason, if you wouldn't mind. We don't currently have a Herbalist, but I don't really think we need one either. I think we'll be okay for the most part. Uh, Lorna, I can't help but notice that you're still not the Mason. So if you could go and do that, please, that would be really nice. Lorna, um, oh, you're stuck down there, aren't you? Yeah, that would, that, that, that explains it. All right, um, in that case, let's get a new ladder there. There we go. So now they can get out. Lorna is going to become the mason. There's invaders approaching as well. It's a big one. It's a Varanus. And that's the smaller one as well. So let's just send me troops off to kill it. And this really shouldn't be too difficult. That is the cleric that was heading over to fight it, though, which isn't really ideal. And I also realized that I'm pretty sure my, yeah, Barry, Barry isn't, yeah, go, go and, go and do your job there, lads. So there we go. You guys can, uh, you guys can fight and also be healed. So there we go. They are gonna do their thing. These guys are still mining that. But what I'd like to do is get my Mason's stuff set up. So make me that and then make me like 20 of the cobblestone fences because that's going to bring your level up a little bit which means you'll eventually be able to get around to making the cook's spoon which is important we're going to need a potter's cutter at some point we're going to need a blacksmith's hammer as well and we're also going to need a trapper's knife so get me all of those queued up i'd also like you to make me two of the stone moles for my footman and then eventually we're going to need like 60 stone chests so I'm also going to queue up uh, 60 stone chests. That might sound like a ridiculous number, but you'll see why in just a little bit. So we'll get all that done. We'll get all that started. Everything should be fine. It's obviously going to take a little bit of time, but that's why we have the quarry so close to um, where all the stockpiles are at the moment. That's not permanent. I do, as I mentioned in the previous episode, have a solution to uh, storage and crafting. But for the time being, all that stuff can just exist out here, and that's totally fine. I also realize I really should have got a second farmer as opposed to a second footman. But I mean, I can still do that. Um, Anne, you are going to become a farmer. Because I would like the amount of food we have to continue to rise. So you can go work on the farms. And uh, I might go ahead and actually get my, my soldiers to no longer patrol. I'll just sort of have them run about and do their thing. Does seem like a pretty good idea to me. So, uh, now that we have a second farmer, I would like to go and just zone more small farm plots. So, another 5x5. Five five. I think this one can have corn in it. That'll be fine. Uh, we'll actually do three with corn, since it does take a little while to grow. So, get all of the corn just in there. Like so. We could do with some wheat as well. I think we could maybe get away with growing a little bit of wheat. Just like that. And, uh, I'd like... You know what? We'll do... A couple of each. We'll do three rows of three things a week, three of corn, and then I would actually like to um I'll leave it a little bit. I'll let them get those sorted before I add any more zones to it. But I think I would like to add just a couple more so that we can go ahead and get uh, more pumpkins, more carrots, more turnips, all that good stuff. It will just take a little bit of time because they actually have a lot of work to do at the moment. But that's okay. We'll we'll totally manage. Uh so you guys are doing an excellent bit of work there in the quarry. We're not getting as many resources from it as I would like. But I don't think I mind too much. 
I think we will uh, we'll eventually get deep enough that we're going to get a whole bunch of uh, different resources in there. So that'll be kind of exciting when it does eventually happen. Uh, now let's have a look around, make sure there's nothing hostile on the map currently. It doesn't look like there's any goblins. They will show up eventually, though. Trader approaches the town. You want three farmer's hoes for a toy? Nah, I don't want a plushie. Thank you very much, mate. Yeah, the offer's appreciated, but we just don't need it. We, uh, we just simply don't need it. Uh, let me have a look at the mason for a second. You're still working on those. That's fine. You actually can make the cook's spoon as well. Which is good, because it means we can start preparing our food correctly, which we absolutely want to do. What's also good is that a, a cook can double as a farmer. So, I actually want to go and get my high level farmer, my level 2 farmer, Larry, to become a cook. Or does he have to be level 2 and a... We should have the spoon. We absolutely should have the cook's spoon any second now. But then, yeah, there we go. Larry, you are going to become a cook. Which is an excellent thing. Now, he is going to still tend to the farms, like I said. But there is other stuff he can do as well. Uh, we don't have enough food. That's fine. We'll get it eventually and we'll get that tenth hearthling. Uh, but for the time being, I would like to go and get Larry to make the stone cauldron. To make the stone mill grinder. And also, uh, sort of maintain a stock of... I'm going to say 20 tasty vegetable stews. That seems like it would be a good idea. So get on all of that, Larry, if you don't mind. Or was it? It was Larry, right? Uh, it was, yeah, it was Larry. Larry the cook. So that's fine. He can, uh, he can get to work on all that stuff. We'll go ahead and put that down just there. We'll put this just next to it. And you've already started on the storage chests. Not bad. Not that we're going to be using them yet, but, uh, eventually we certainly will. What's more is having a cook right here is super good because it's right next to all the storage. That's why I, I want to have my storage right next to all of the crafting stations, because it means they're going to be so efficient in what they do. It's just that everything is going to go inside of the stone chests that we're currently making. So it should be pretty good. We should have a good thing going on here. In fact, let's start working on the, on the thing, on the, the storage building. So let's just let them sort of run at normal speed there. And I'll start designing the building. So, what I want to do is use wood to make the building. Uh, I think the floor can be heathered gray. And I want to go here. And I want to go 10 by... I think 10 by 5 is probably fine. So, 10 by 5. And then I want to go and put a gap of uh, 4 between them. And then do another 10 by 5. Then another gap of four, and another ten by five. And that's fine. This is going to be a huge building, by the way. An absolutely enormous building. Uh, but another ten by five there. So that's fine. That's totally fine. Uh, then I want to put the entrance sort of there. So that's three, that's five, that's seven. Then I want to go one, two, three, four. Uh, that's four. So then another five by ten. And that's basically going to be the building. So if we line all of these up properly, which I'm certainly going to try and do. Uh, ten by five and then another ten by five just there. And another ten by five just over here as well. So with that set up like that, we should have no problems... Uh, making this work. Now, I'm very tempted to make each little area have, like, a corridor leading to it, so the building is less of a building and more of just a series of tunnels, but I think that would look ridiculous from the outside, so I'm not gonna do that. Uh, what I will do is actually go in with a different type of floor and hope this works, uh, and the storage area can be tobacco brown, I think. Does that connect everything up? It looks like it. Certainly, certainly looks like it. So that is all one, yeah, that's all one building. So that's fine. I like it. That'll work. That's fine. What about the walls? So the walls will look like that, which admittedly is a bit strange, but that's okay. That's totally okay. It's a weird building. It's actually tanking my frame rate uh, doing this at the minute because the game's trying to work out how it's going to work, uh, but that's fine. 
Let's have the wall materials just be what they were before. So that's going to be the wall materials. Wow, my, fr my frame rate just dropped to 30 there. It's locked itself in at 30. I mean, this video is going out at 30 FPS, so it's fine. Oh, no, it's back up to 60. There we go. No problem. Um, I don't think I want to add another floor to this or anything. I don't think there's any need to do that. I do want to get the doors and windows all on here properly, though. So the door is going to go there. We can have some windows on this. I'm thinking I'm going to use these. I think we'll use the diamond window frames because it just means that uh, everything is a little bit safer, I think. Uh, so get one there and get one there. Then we do the same on this side with the diamond window frame there and there. And there and there. Then on the front of the building, I I think I'll do the same, to be honest. So just something like that. It's not its not really supposed to be a pretty looking building. It is sort of more of a warehouse. So I think I'll actually do diamond window frames just like that instead. Just kind of big lines of the, the diamond window frames there. So that's, uh, you know, there's plenty of natural light coming in. But you also can't just go through those windows, which I think I did catch a couple of people walking through some of the windows in the other building. So that's probably fine there. Um, as for the back of it, I mean, I guess we sort of do the same thing. So one, two, three, and one, two, three. And then can I get one in the middle? Um, not really. I can get one there. I can get one there. That seems fine. So each of the little areas on the side is going to be for a specific profession. And then this bit in the middle is just going to be rows of storage chests. And that will work perfectly. That'll be absolutely beautiful. So with that all done, we do need to get some decorations in here. We do need to get some lights in. We could go for stone wall lanterns. Could definitely go for those. Uh, but I think the wooden ones are going to be easier. So we'll throw some lanterns in like this. We'll just get them on each of the pillars. Just all around here. This is actually going to take a moment to do, but that's totally fine because it's going to be totally worth it once it's all done. Uh, this is actually going to look really, really interesting. This is actually better than the original one that I designed. The one that I designed originally had uh, three sections on either side and then two at the end of the building. So it was already quite a long building, but it was also quite a, a wide building. This one is a lot longer than it is wide, and I actually kind of like that. I do, I do prefer it being a longer, I, you know, it, it looks a bit better this way than, uh, than my original one did. Uh, let's just chuck a bunch of lights down the side of the building like this, so that it is going to be nice and bright. We can get a light just there, and we can get a bunch of lights just down this side as well. This is something I've been doing a lot more in Stone Hearth recently as I've been revisiting it. I've been adding lights to the outsides of all of my buildings just to make sure they're actually really bright. And uh, that looks really interesting, actually. With like the one peak there in the middle. That's kind of cool. What if I brought it down a little bit, though? No, I actually, I kind of like that one little connecting piece. That's pretty cool. That's a, that's a cool looking building. Okay. I like it. Finished editing. This is going to be the oh, crafting and uh, storage barn. That's fine. Uh, I would like to save it as the crafting, uh, crafting and storage barn. All right. So we got that saved, I think, and we'll build it. So start building. There we go. That is going to take a while. That is absolutely going to take a while, but I really, really do think it's going to be worth it. I really do. Because it means we can move all of the storage into that building. And I know what you might be thinking. You might be thinking, hold on a minute. Weren't you planning on going over to that island? Well, I am. I'm still wanting to go over to that island, but it's going to be a while before we can reasonably get there. We need to bring the population up a bit first as well. So there's work to do. There, there is, There is plenty of work to be done. And uh, this is just a bit of it. And this is going to be pretty cool. Like I said, this is this is actually going to look really, really cool. It looks better than the original one I built. I'm super happy with that design. And uh, yeah, it's just we're getting a proper little little thing going here. We have places for everyone to sleep. We have our uh, production facility. I really do like it. I'm really keen to see what we can make here. I'm also aware that uh, I do believe only two people are actively building it. Um, 
which is less than ideal. I mean, eventually, Terry and Lorna will help. But uh, yeah, there's five of them that will not. Right now, there's two that are building it. There could eventually be four that'll be building it. But it'll take a while. You're Mason level four already. That's ridiculous. You just became the Mason. You literally just got that job. Uh, let's see. We don't really need anything from you. We could actually use the padded vest, though. So let's sell the fine window frames because we'll not be using them. We can sell the fine wall lanterns because we'll not be using them. We'll buy one padded vest. And that'll be good. Oh, invaders approaching. Perfect timing. We have... Uh, Fulvia Bones, and we have Fry the Zombie. All right. Uh, let's go and attack them. Which shouldn't be too hard to do. Uh, let's attack that one specifically. There we go. I think the game might have been... Wait a minute. What are you... Are you... Are you carry... You are carrying something. Yeah, you, I guess you're not technically supposed to be doing your job, are you? I haven't actually got them set to do their job. They're set to uh, do hauling, I think. But that's fine. We killed them anyway. At this stage of the game, there's no huge threats. That said, pretty soon, a goblin should pop up and say, Hey, I want, want a bunch of stuff from you. And when that happens, we need to kind of stay on top of it. We need to provide the goblins with what they want. Because I'd actually rather not have to deal with... Um, Goblin parties constantly attacking us. We will have goblins on the map, which is going to be a bit of a pain. This is good. This is very, very good that we're getting another person. Uh, Trevion Joville, that's fine. Uh, yeah, eventually we will have goblins on the map somewhere, but as long as we keep them happy, it's really not going to be a problem. And uh, I absolutely plan on keeping them happy. So that's what we're going to have to do. Oh, you're already building some walls there. The foundation's not even in yet. But uh, apparently they're keen to get the walls in. Not that I'm complaining. I mean, the quicker this building gets done, the better. Oh my god, the size of those pillars is ridiculous. The size of this building's ridiculous. I'm pretty sure that a couple of alphas ago, this would not have been possible to build. Just because it's a little bit of an awkward shape. I am kind of glad that the building seems... To, I, I'm assuming. I don't know if it actually has been approved. The biggest bug I used to find with building in Stonehearth was when you tried to add another floor to a building. So I'm only assuming that uh, building has been improved, but it, it seems like it. Uh, now, Terry just got Carpenter level 5, which is ridiculous, because I think he can now build everything. No, he can't build this, because he's not level 6. The recurve bow, can't build that. That's fine. He could build the archer's bow, though. He can also build the shepherd's crook. Uh, I would like you to build both of those. When you get an opportunity to do so, when we have the uh, the leather. I think that would be good. You also can't build this yet. Which is fine. You also can't build anything because you don't have this. Get that built, please. Come on, buddy. Let's get the tool bench built. So you can make better stuff. I'm also pretty sure the mason has a second thing that they can build, too. Uh, yeah. The mason's pedestal. We don't have stone. We are actually out of stone because no one's mining any. Whoops. We might need to turn off building for a little bit. It's a definite possibility, but we, we might legit need to turn off building for a while so we can uh, we can get stone in here. Yeah, what, what let's this is that's the no that's the cleric, never mind. Um yeah, let's let's turn off building for a while. Let's stop everybody from building so you can all go and uh, mine and restock items, because we do need stone. We do absolutely need stone. I mean it would make more sense to go to the mountain, but that's a bit of a journey. So I'd rather they just uh, they just mine here. And as we go deeper, they will find more stone. So it should be completely fine. It's just going to take a little bit of time. Uh, but I am, at this point, honestly just waiting on the goblin. I, I really am. I'm just waiting on the goblin showing up and being like, Meow. It is time. It is I. It is time. Uh, so what is the hotkey for that? So that's V. So V brings that down. Slicing is... That slash key there. Okay. That's fine. Just got to remember those hotkeys. Uh, a merchant has arrived. Uh, you've got nothing I'm interested in. Anything I can sell? I uh, got some nice fancy lamps there for you. And we have some fine park benches too. There we go. That's totally fine. 
Uh, so we have a little bit of stone. Tiny little bit of stone. Definitely need more. Definitely need more, but uh, pretty sure fairly soon they're going to be going off to sleep rather than uh, doing anything else. So that's fine. Um, are they putting windows in? They are putting windows in. Look at that. Not bad. Oh, they're also harvesting all this stuff finally. Finally, we can get rid of all of these... Uh, these notices that say, hey, go mine this or chop this or do this. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, more windows going in. That's fine. And I do believe a lot of them have gone off to sleep. Also fine. How many beds did we have in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We need another bed if we're going to take in more hearthlings. That's interesting. Can safely say I didn't expect to need another uh, set of beds this, this quickly. Really didn't think that would come along. Uh, and it's slightly worrying because we might have enough food to get another hearthling. I mean, we can turn them away, but I don't really want to. I, I never like turning hearthlings away because it's just, it's another builder or it's another miner or whatever. Like, it's it's kind of useful. Uh, yeah, we'll take an 11th hearthling. Sen Hunterton. All right, fair enough. Um, we can't help but notice that a lot of you aren't currently mining. Not not a big fan. Um, admittedly, some of you that can build can't actually mine. So I think Terry can build. Um, you can build as well. Well, you know what? We'll put a few of you on building. That's fine. Three of you aren't going to be doing it, though. Three of you can uh, also stop hauling and go back. Just, just mine. Why are you not mining? Why are you not mining? That's really strange. Um, okay, let's just let them build, and then I guess I'll re- I can reset the mining area? Is the mining area like- Yeah, remove that. And then let's go in here like this and say, hey, get back to mining, please. If you wouldn't mind. So that might work. Or can they not get down there? No, they totally can. That's really strange. I don't know why they're not mining. I mean, I know that- I think building takes a priority at this point, but- just in general, I don't know why they suddenly stopped. But oh well, no big deal. We can, uh, I guess, send them over to start mining into there if we really desperately need to. I just kind of wanted to get a quarry here. Because having it here is just so much more convenient than sending them off to the mountain constantly to get resources. Which it certainly looks like we're probably going to have to do. Unless I can get the mining, which I don't think they're keen on doing. Uh, that said, I mean... Most of the pillars are in here. Most of the pillars are in, and the pillars are the only po only part that's made of, um... Or is the roof made of stone? I don't remember. I really don't remember. Uh, what can I sell to you? I can sell some windows, which are worth a little bit. Um, and I kind of want to buy some bolts of leather. So I'll buy like four of those, because those could be useful to have. I don't necessarily know what they'd be useful for, but... I have a feeling I'd probably need them. Uh, invaders approaching. We have Entlings. That's no big deal. Let's set you guys to go and attack them. And I also want to just turn you guys back onto your jobs so you'll actually attack them properly. So, uh, there we go. They're going to do their jobs. No problem. And, uh, footman level one. Not bad. Definitely not bad. I'll take it. And farmer level two. Also not bad. Okay. I'm liking this. We're doing some good stuff. It actually looks like all of the pillars might be in. I don't remember in the slightest though if the roof was made of, um, yeah, we don't have enough stone. The roof was absolutely made of stone is what I've discovered here. And, uh, apparently, apparently we are not getting enough of it at all. I don't know why though. I really don't. Are they maybe prioritizing all of this? It's difficult to know because I did I did turn them off of the, the hauling thing and they didn't go mine. So apparently they're not interested in doing that. Maybe if I told them to mine over here, maybe that would help. Like if I say go mine that, I'll also have to slice the terrain a bit and then bring my slice up slightly. But if I say, you know, do that, someone might go do it. I don't know. Let's bring it in like that. Bring it in a bit further. A little bit further. Then bring it across or something and just sort of dig a, a big old cave through all of this. Because why not, I guess. Uh, so if we go to there. 
and then we'll bring one sort of over like that or something. We'll just make a cave system. Just make a tunnel through the mountains. Why not? Uh, so we'll go to there. We'll go to uh, there. And then we'll go like that. So yeah, that's just going to be like a, a series of tunnels that run through the mountain for literally no reason uh, other than to potentially gather some resources. We'll see. Daily update. We have the food. We have the worth. We'll take a 12th one. There we go. Sips. <laughs> it's uh, literally sips. And if I was, if I was, okay, I'm, I'm pretty shameless. Like I, I do genuinely believe that to thrive in this business, you need to be quite shameless. You need to play to clickbait. You need to play to trends. Uh, there's a lot of things in this business that you need to do that a lot of people shun and will like call you out for, but are very genuine, like clickbait. Okay. This is completely unrelated to the video, but bear with me. Clickbait is, in, is not inherently a bad thing. Because the point of clickbait is to get you to click on, like, my job is to get you to click on this video and to get you to watch this video. Like, that is my job at its most basic form. For me personally, that's not all it is because I want to entertain. Like, that's what my job is to me. But to do that, I have to get you to click on the video. And therefore, that's baiting your clicks, basically, if you think of it that way. Uh, so clickbait's not bad unless it is, like, lying. Uh, so if I was a man that was going to be a little, you know, if I was going to push the boundary a little bit, this video would be titled, like, oh, my God, it's Sips, or Sips is here, or something. I put that in because Sips is, like, a YouTuber with, like, 2 million subscribers. But I'm not going to do that because cause I, cause I, I morally can't do that to myself. Uh, anyway, a royal herald. The Honorable Anwin Redelm. Okay. Ho oh, there. Is this the new settlement of New Nottingham? Messiah Burleyhan said you'd be out here. But it's always a bit touch and go in the early days. Shall we get started with the proclamation? That's us. By order of Princess Darnia, First Lady of the Ascendancy, and in whose demands as you settle, and with the blessings of the Church of Plenty, in whose wisdom we all prosper... All settlements that attain local renown will hereby be recognized as official ascendancy townships with the rights, privileges, and rewards thereof. Rewards, you say? Indeed, by the princess's order, eligible towns that have proven their worth shall win access to architectural learning and wealthier caravans for trade. You may gain sufficient renown to advance to a township in any three ways. Military glory, favor with the church, or the approval of the Craftsmasters. Which sounds the most interesting to you? I'm going to say Craftsmasters. The Royal Craftsmasters honor those with an eye for excellence. Have your mason create a statue to their exacting specifications, and you shall be one of the few to impress them. Mason's ho! Excellent! In addition to an appropriate amount... In addition to an appropriate monument, your town will also need to have accumulated a certain level of worth. I shall leave the requirements with you. Should you wish to consult with them again, or should a different path come to appeal more than your initial chosen road? Thank you, milady. See its bounty be upon you, new Nottingham. I shall leave you a bird, so you may summon me to evaluate your progress. Beautiful. So, we are now in a situation where we have the quest for a township. Uh, now, we could go for Sid's Valor, which we're not going to do. We're going for Crafter's Approval, which means we need to build this and attain a net worth of 5,000. So, if we go to here and I go to my Mason, uh, you can build the Guildmaster's Skill, which requires Steel Ingots, Heavy Bandages, Decorative Vases, Wall-Mounted Tapestries, and a Comfy Bed. All of which is stuff that takes a few things to make and also requires pretty good skill in, like, most of the professions. So, that's going to take a little bit, is what that's going to do. That is that is going to take a little bit to do. Are you guys going to talk? You're finally mining! Okay. It's a bite bloody time, mate. Uh, oh, a, bone, a giant bone mace for 15 wooden doors. Now nah, I'm good. I don't really need it, to be honest. Don't particularly see the point either, so uh, we'll let them do their thing. It looks like these guys are actually, yeah, they're done putting up the walls. It is literally just a job of putting a roof on this place, and we don't have the stone to do it. 
So, that's fun. It just means that the construction of this place is going to take a little while, but uh, it looks like most of the lights are in. The lights obviously aren't on the outside yet, but on the inside, it looks like most of the lights have been put in place. So at least, actually, no, there's a lot of the lights haven't been, but there's a few in there is what I'm getting at. There's there's some lights in there. Uh, anyone mining? No, not currently. Do we have stone? We have a little bit, but certainly not enough stone to, uh, to put a roof on this place by any means. That's going to take just a little while. But no worries, we'll get there eventually. We'll get ourselves the, uh, I think they'll, yeah, they're putting the scaffolding up to start putting the roofs on the place, or the roof on the place. But, um, yeah, they just don't have the stone. So, I'm not quite sure what they're gonna do. They might head down into the quarry. I mean, this guy started on a bit of roof, but, like I said, the stone just isn't there. So, I, re I really don't know what they'll do. I really have no idea. I'm curious. Legitimately very, very curious to see if they're going to go grab the stones from over there. Actually, no. It just flagged that they're out of materials. So, what are they What are they doing? Oh, no. You've got stone from someone. Did you, like, summon the stone? Is that what you did? You just, you just summoned it? It's like, actually, you know what? I forgot to mention. I'm actually a wizard. I can conjure natural materials from nothing. Um, and I totally forgot that I could do that. So, this guy's going to mine over there. We have a couple of people mining down in the quarry as well, which is fine. Invaders approaching. Uh, that's fine as well. Let's send you off to attack there, if you wouldn't mind. Um, good. So this guy's going to be able to mine and do his thing. A goblin with a fancy, a fancy, <laughs> a fancy hat swaggers into town. Uh, me, big glittering chieftain. The natural order mean you give me stuff and I no destroy you. Me want supplies, understand? So, eight mines of clay and four wooden swords. I think I can do that. All I need is one more wooden sword. So, uh, Carpenter, if you wouldn't mind there, mate, make me a wooden sword and that will keep them happy. And it means that we're not going to have to worry about annoying the goblins. Oh, cleric level one, not bad. Looks like we've got a bit of stone in there as well. It's going to be nice when this building's done. It's going to be really nice when this building's done. Oh, daily update. Uh, food and... Oh, God, right. Okay, we'll take a 13th. Piat burly hands. Don't we already have a piat? Um, no. No, we don't. That must have been another... Oh, we do. We do. We've got piat walden and piat burly hands. Oh, man. So, I'm really glad I recently upgraded my microphone. Uh, because of my old mic, I would not have been able to go piat without severely, like, having, uh, plosives on the microphone. So, yeah, we got p we got the piats in here. Okay, it is picking it up a little bit. <laughs> oh, that name is just interesting. If you happen to be called piat and you're watching this video, I do apologize, but it's an interesting name. It's, it's fun to, um... Exaggerate is what the name is. It's a it's a fun name to uh, heavily exaggerate. Oh, are we out of stone again? I mean, at least they're actually mining more regularly here. It makes a nice change to see them doing this. Um, and apparently we do have a bit of stone there, but uh, it's gonna be good. Oh my god, they're actually making a pretty good dent in this. They're making a pretty good dent in that indeed. Not bad. We might actually get this building done. I don't really want to wrap this episode up until the building's done. And I know that I could, you know, cut here and skip forward to a bit when it's done. But I'm enjoying rambling and saying piat way too much. Um, so <laughs> so uh, that's what I'm going to spend my time doing. Um, big wall banner. Do I want some banners? I kind of want some banners. It's completely unnecessary, but I kind of want like two of them. So give me two of those. Um, there's not really anything I can sell. We have 42 of those. That's where all the bloody stone went. I totally forgot about that. All right. Uh, so let me put a banner just up there if I can. So yeah, that's going to be doable. So I want to put a banner up there. And I'd also like to put a banner just up there. When we get a moment. Who's going to build the ladder? No one's going to build the ladder because they're eating. All right. Fair enough. That's no big deal. Uh, hopefully, we'll get a, get the uh, the banner. There's someone building the ladder. 
And anyone gonna put the banner up there? Cook level two's not bad. There we go. And then the ladder's done. That looks nice. That looks nice. I like it. And the banner's up there as well. Uh, the roof is so close to being done on this. It's so close to being done, man. Come on. Get it done. Get the roof done, you slackers. The last thing that needs done, then I can move all of my uh, my crafting facilities in there. And I can finally start putting the chests in for storage as well. Which is going to be a bit tedious, but it's going to be so worth it as well. It really, really is going to be so worth it getting the chests in there. Are you guys done with this layer of the mine? Oh, you absolutely are. Okay. Let's get the next level of the quarry going then. Uh, so it's going to go there. It's going to go there. And it's going to go there as well. So that's fine. That's going to be an even deeper section of the quarry, which is going to be a bit more convenient for people to mine out. Oh, I realize they have to put the lights and all on this as well. So yeah, there's still a bit of work to be done on the, the old crafting building there, but... I mean, it's coming along quite nicely. Oh, it's a goblin. So you're back, I see. How's it going there, buddy? You all right? You all right there, mate? You just gonna go for a wee... Go for a wee swagger into town is what you're doing? No, you're just walking through. All right. Okay. Uh, here's your stuff, mate. Enjoy. Uh, my stuff. I take home now and cuddle to sleep at night. Yes. You do that, mate. All right. So there's a small goblin camp there. Where's the big goblin camp? Oh, it's there. That's why he was walking. Oh, we are right between two goblin camps. I mean, that explains why he's walking through the town. But that's going to be interesting. Daily update. Uh, sure. 14th. They don't all have places to sleep. But, uh, we'll take them. We'll certainly take them. I don't want to turn them away. Also going to put a ladder there. I know it doesn't line up with these ones, but that's because they haven't mined out the lower level in this yet. Once they start mining out that lower level, we can absolutely go ahead and uh, remove that ladder and get the permanent one in. But until then, not a whole lot we can do. Just got to wait for them to start on that lower level. Which they'll do eventually. They just like to take their time. Oh, there's not much to go. Get that last little bit done. There we go. Scaffolding is going to start coming down. And then it's just the door. It's just the lights. And uh, then we're good. Not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, look at that. That's a really cool looking building, actually. I'm really, really pleased with that. I really am so pleased with that building. Just get the lights on there and we are golden. Oh, man. I'm so happy. I'm so happy with how this turned out. Uh, Rugged Survivalist stops by. Uh, thanks for stopping by, but I'm going to be honest. Not particularly interested in what you're selling. I've got a bunch of lights to put up. I've got a door to put in. Just get lost. I, I don't I don't care about what you're selling. Uh, so how's this mining going? Not bad, actually. That's a good start they've made there. Oh, look at this. What's the inside of it look like? Any scaffolding? There is a bit. Well, not scaffolding as much as just ladders because they have a lot of lights to put in. But once those are all in, I can start... Well, I actually... I could start moving all the, the things in immediately. But I'd rather they completely finish the building before I start moving things in because the AI can get a little bit confused from time to time. So it's best not to annoy it. It's best to just let the game run its course, do what it has to do, install me lights, and then we're good. Uh, why did you put, why did someone drop the light there? That seems a bit weird. Uh, is that it? I think it is. All right, job done. Job absolutely done. Uh, right, let's start moving the carpenter's stuff in here. So that's the carpenter's tool bench, which is going to be moved into this little space here. Uh, I want to move the carpenter's workbench to there. Next to the carpenter... We're going to get the mason, who is going to have a bench just there. With the other thing, which isn't made yet. Why has that not been made yet, Mason? What are you up to? What are you What are you doing? Oh, you don't have the stone. Fair enough. You'll make it eventually. That's fine. Uh, the mason's other thing can go in there eventually. The herbalist is going to be next. Herbalist, you are going to go there, I guess. 
you've got a lot of space for... I mean, you don't, you don't, I mean, you do a lot, but that's a lot of space you've got there for just one thing. Uh, the cook is going to be next, so the stone cauldron is going to go just into that corner. We can put the stone mill grinder just next to it. And I realize that you also need to make the stone oven, if you wouldn't mind. So get that done as soon as you possibly can, and that can go into that corner. And then the last thing I need to do with this space is get the stone chests. We've got 46 of them currently. That's not bad. And if that's kind of the middle point there, then they go one, two, three, four, five, six. And that is almost 46 that have been placed. There was room perfectly for the 46 that we had made. Now, if you multiply 46 by 64, that's how much storage we now have. I'm actually going to do it very quickly. 46 by 64 is 2,944 storage spaces. So we have room for a lot of stuff, is uh, is what that tells me. We've moved all of our crafting spaces into there already. Uh, this ladder still doesn't need to be replaced. But what I would like to do is remove all of my stockpiles. Now, what this is going to do, admittedly, is have everything a little bit less neat, which... Maybe isn't ideal, but it moves all of our resources into this building, which makes it so much easier for anyone that's crafting anything to uh, to do what they want to do because they've got storage right by them still. So this is fine. This is totally, totally fine. And I am uh, extremely aware of the fact that I have positioned the second row of the chests wrong and they are in fact not central. Okay, I'm going to be leaving it there for today, ladies and gents. Thank you kind of for watching. Let's hope that I forget I did that between now and the next episode. Bye-bye. Uh, <laughs>